Hello, my Aries. Welcome back. All right, so you know the deal. Like always, it's a general reading, so take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Alrighty. Um, now, I was getting in the pre-shuffle. I, I was getting some news might come out about work. Okay, there's been a lot of work put into something, uh, but it's going to change. Something's going to come out. The the um, blah, 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 blah. This could have been a little bit back and forth for a while. Somebody could have been on the fence about making a deal. I want to hear. I want to hear. <laughs> I want to say that you're going to get news that you want to hear or just news that's going to change something in regards to work. I am also feeling like someone's on the fence. Because I'm hearing it's like the same old, same old thing. There's, familiar, there's familiarity, I can't say it, apparently. Um, it feels very familiar, it's comfortable, but it's the same old, same old. So if somebody's on the fence about ending something that again is just the same thing all the time. Could be the same problem, or maybe just very repetitive life. Somebody's constantly back and forth, because I'm seeing there's like something in a distance here. Maybe it's at an actual physical distance or it's just something that you might be interested in going towards and it's, it could be newer to you, more interesting, but you hesitate because again, there's comfort. There's something familiar about what you already have, but again, the that comes with that it's the same thing over and over again. Could be why your readings a lot of times are the same. Now, I do feel like there's a specific connection that there is abundance here. There's a lot of potential in some sort of practical, pragmatic way. But it's either you or, or someone else. I want to say that it's you trying to decide, you know, is there a different direction that I want to go? may already know something that you want, but you just aren't going towards it for some reason. Could be because the bit, the work you do now or the partnership, again, I'm not feeling like this is romantic necessarily. The partnership that you're in or whatever it is, it just, it, it, it does well. It provides for you. It does what it needs, but there is this longing of something more. Some of you could be doing something for work that wasn't necessarily your full passion. I mean, it works. It's fine. It, it functions very well. You get returns from it. Um, but again, you're, you're of two minds, secretly, maybe. All right. Show me the overall energy going on for Aries and whoever they're dealing with. This could be romantic or not. We don't walk around in love every day. At least not everybody. Okay, overall energy for Aries and the person they're dealing with, please. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm getting automatically, whoever you're dealing with, you guys are on two separate pages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody is three at the bottom of the deck. It could be a water sign. Somebody is waiting and disappointed over here. Like this individual, one person doesn't like to be alone. So they wait on the other person. They're disappointed when that individual doesn't message them or come in or if, you know. But then somebody else over here is the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, does not have to be. Whoever this, it's like uh, trying to figure something out. A lot of reflection, heavy Virgo energy coming up in every single one of the readings. Um, we are still in Virgo season, but at the same time, there's something about like, you know, 
searching for answers, realizing the power that you have in each equation. And then the devil card. So the hermit and the devil. <laughs> okay. That's why I say like two different pages, but I also see somebody, somebody, I'm getting a lot from this. Um, somebody may, be obsessively thinking about something. Another person could want to be alone and they, and they feel chained to an individual. This is a very karmic energy here, but there's also something uh, obsessive about it. Very, um, one person does not want to let the other person go and, and the other person is trying to find enlightenment. And, and I want to say that it's like, Someone could be trying to ascend here and the other individual keeps pulling them down or um, there could be someone also that is plagued by some sort of addiction as well. But very obsessive energy, energy, energy. <laughs> I am a mess. Okay. <laughs> you could actually interact with somebody that has an interesting accent in the coming up weeks. I wanted to say months. Uh, or they have an in, their voice. Something about their voice is very unique. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I am getting, though, being very pulled, very tied to something, very stuck to it. So this is either another person or a way of life, a tendency. And then there's a need to be reflective about this to kind of see the true aspects of it, I want to say. I mean, whoever this is can feel it. I mean, it's toxic as F over here. <laughs> but I am also getting that there could be like somebody that is alone thinking about another person that they desire, that they feel very drawn to. So this is going to apply to you guys in different ways. But there is definitely like a fixated, like a pull, like a, I, I, I have to have it, I can't lose it, it's mine. Wow. Hot, hot. I don't know if that's good or bad. Aries, what's the energy for Aries? What you doing over here, Aries? Aries. You might be, <laughs> well, you could be traveling to new love. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Chariot and the Ace of Cups. He is raging towards that Ace of Cups. <laughs> He's good. This also could, also could be like a brand new idea as well or creative. For some of you, this could be an art piece I'm picking up or like some sort of valuable item. You may be called to go somewhere to view a valuable item or to get this item, <laughs> okay? So it's, but you know, if this is in regards to, it's either something valuable that you will be called to travel towards, physically travel I'm getting, or this comes by, um, it will come in the mail, it's being shipped very valuable. Otherwise, you may be blasting towards love. Somebody here could be inspired by new love, could be dealing with a queen of pentacles, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but right underneath that we have a queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh-oh. Which one are we blasting towards? <laughs> Both of them? Sounds busy. But there's only, um, there's only one. Uh -uh. Damn. Pardon me. He had an opinion about that. But anyway, sounds busy. <laughs> but good. You're feeling inspired or you will be. Something's going to inspire you. If it's not love, this is a valuable opportunity. All right. So aries what what uh, what's going on with this person that aries is dealing with what are they doing over here aries oh these two wanted to come out. oh 
All right. I, I don't even know exactly what to think of this. <laughs> okay. It's because that, that noise, the mailman just startled my whole energy. You could, something could take you by surprise. Like you literally could be taken by surprise. Okay, so this individual, they could be, they could own their own company or I'm hearing like production. They could be high up in a hospital, maybe church, large building, banking. I mean, this person is taking care of business. They're also very committed. Um, and this is the Emperor, so Aries, which is your energy. So whatever feels right, you know, flip, flip it. This is supposed to be you, but whatever. Um, I also am getting that this person could be, I'm getting like somebody's watching someone else. For some of you, this won't resonate for all, but I was getting like hiring someone to watch because I'm feeling like there could be spying in the future on what someone is doing or where they travel to or something like that. Wanting to know or um, I'm also hearing, I'm hearing a person that has a lot of cameras set up or surveillance. This individual is well off, whoever this is that you're dealing with, or again, it could be you, but it's like they're very established, they're connected to a big business, big company. Um, they have a keen eye for whatever it is they do. They're very good at something. But I'm also getting like, somebody wants to spy on the other person here, and now I'm getting a little muddled with what's going on for some of you you could have a new relationship coming up in the future or or you may meet somebody who is relationship material um yeah i want to say that it's not who you're with right now but again maybe maybe it is i don't, I don't know if it, if it is, there could be like a resurgence of pop love, like travel could bring new happiness here, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting like somebody going towards something else and then another person watching them, spying on them doing so. Everybody might have someone else here. I don't know. All right, what is this Ace of Cups for Aries, please? I don't know what I'm looking at. What is this Ace of Cups for Aries? Mm. I'm getting jealousy here. You might feel jealous if somebody pursues someone else. Because I'm getting defensive energy here. It's like somebody might be with the chariot. Now, this could be you. Again, you have to figure it out. The chariot. Somebody's driving away, and this person is uh, upset that they're leaving. They're very defensive about this because they know, they know that this person is going towards something else or someone else or, or feels that. Yeah, I'm sensing moving on, moving forward, traveling. There's definitely fast movement. And and I'm just, it's hard for me to decipher like what this scenario is, but I get a lot of, um, a lot of energies with you, Aries, all the time. You and a couple other uh, signs. So it's like you could have, It doesn't always have to be third party romantic, but I do see someone leaving the other person behind and, and this person feels left out. 
this person could feel like they have the better offer or they have the real offer and it's like somebody doesn't care they leave them out anyway it could be predictive what is this um what is this hero font here for the person that aries is dealing with okay yeah somebody could be lying about being married or being involved or they're um they're hiding something this person could be hiding something. But again, whoever's hiding, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Whoever is hiding something, because I'm getting like a, somebody just wants to be single. At the end of the day, it's almost not even personal. That's just the truth of it. King of Swords, not emotional about it. It's like, they just, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. They just want to go towards being single. They're not happy where they're at. And uh, there's something that, I don't know, I just feel like they want stability, independence. There's something toxic about a connection and someone realizes it or they're going to. There could be a lot of drugs in your environment or people that you do business with. I'm just sensing all of a sudden that like there's maybe your town, something's very affected by drugs. And I don't think that it's you. I don't think that you're affected. I think you're, you're strong, but it's almost like your environment could be the city you're in. It's like been devastated by, I, I don't know why I'm getting that all of a sudden. But it's almost like you, somebody here is starting to see the truth of what's going on around them. Yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah, a lot of anxiety. What is happening? I feel like there's more anxiety for this individual. They could be trying to get out of a situation, a family situation and maybe come towards you or something like that. I just I just sense very strongly that there's one person that's going to be left in the cold. And they're and this person that's left in the cold is before they're left in the cold, they're going to become suspicious and they might do some spying. All right? Cuz I don't see the actual leaving like the ending ending yet. I just see this burden like plaguing somebody sneaking off to go towards something that they actually want whatever that is some people may sneak off for a drink or like sneak off for peace or something i don't know weird 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 so if this makes any sense to anybody okay um before i close it off how does aries feel about this person we're dealing with aries how does aries feel about this person they're dealing with Well, I feel like you, you like this person. You want to put work towards this. You see them as a soulmate. You may work together. You may have met them at work. Um, you also could be, you know, you may not pay as much attention to this connection as you would like to because you spend a lot of time with work. But I don't feel like, you know, I think you look at them in a pretty good light this person so some of you this could be your wife or your actual person I, I don't see any issue here I see you put more focus in work that's what you want to do you're creating something but yeah no hard feelings I don't know what <sighs> hmm interesting this is very back and forth okay what is the person that Aries is dealing with how do they feel about Aries please how does this person feel about Aries be an earth sign they could think that this is slowly ending with you wow you guys are not on the same page somebody may go towards an earth sign a lot of earth energy though so there's an earth sign somewhere romantic or not but yeah a slow ending
They also probably think that progress has been slow. I'm getting that, that, that something's not very exciting to them anymore. They may hide this from you. There could also be somebody else offering them something. Wow, this reading is just... I don't even know. I don't know what to say. Because I, I feel like it's got goods and bads to it. So I guess it's very it's, it's a very dark and light type of reading. So I guess it's realistic to real life. It doesn't always have to make sense. But um, definitely... Definitely in the coming months, somebody will be traveling to pursue something, though. Definitely. I want to say that it's you, but again. All right. Um, I'm going to let it go because I'm just repeating myself. Bye-bye, Aries.